Beautiful background over here. Got the windmills. Got an oil well. Well, you can't see it, but there's a power station out that way. Here are rods. You got your sucker rods. Pull the pump. They connect. As you can see, they connect. And that actually actuates the pump back and forth. When you look at it, going up and down that rod that's what it's pulling on these and then these are inside the tubing and this tubing goes all the way down and it connects same deal it's got threads so these sucker rods go inside this and they're attached to the pumping unit um, whenever you hear you have your casing on the bottom then you have your tubing coming up in between it so whenever you hear tubing it's just literally a tube that has your sucker rods in between it these snap often if they're real small so if you've got real skinny rods these are thicker but if you've got like 5 8 rods always put uh, the uh, the rod guide, the spacers on them, and it fattens them out so they won't flex inside when they're getting pushed down. Because pushing down is arguably, it, it's almost more, I guess, stress on the rod pushing down than coming up. Because you're just pulling up, it's simple. But when you're pushing down, you're pushing that pump actuation, pushing back down and then coming back up. So the push down on skinny rods is really hard on them. So you always want spacers if you got real skinny. And on this, you can see you've got some scale buildup, paraffin. Um, pretty common, pretty common deal. You can use chemical, uh, all kinds of stuff. I've got a video coming up where we're actually gonna try some microbes. Really cool video. But uh, yeah. And then on the other video, the tubing testing whenever you're getting ready for an acid job or a frac job or something basically they are pressuring up these tubing to ensure that they're not bad they don't bust crack etc so that's what that tubing tester is um if you have any questions feel free to uh comment like and subscribe thanks